What's up guys? Another electrical troubleshooting with an outlet tester. Today we have a hot ground reverse on our outlet. Here's the first outlet on the circuit. I verified it with the breaker. Two lights on. That one's good. We move over to the we move over to the next outlet. I want to unplug all these. These are good. These are good. Our next circuit is the one that I opened with. Hot ground. So I don't think it's going to be a hot ground. Let's go check another circuit. So we have a plug in. So watch this. We have a, the outlet testers reading hot ground. We remove this plug. Now look. Now we have an open neutral. That changes things. Here's our working outlet. We come over here. That's where the problem begins, right here. Or the problem is between here and here. There's a loose neutral. I'm gonna start with this one. Always wanna secure the breaker. Now that our power is off, we can get to work. See what's going on. So there's no jumper on this for the neutral. It's just, uh, they're jumping it from this outlet. So first thing I'm gonna do, we know this is working. But that's a little loose. That's extremely loose. Look at that. I don't think that's gonna fix the problem that we're having, but it's not gonna hurt to make sure all these connections are tight. This one's loose too, not too bad. This one's extremely loose. That did not solve our problem. We still have a open neutral, but yeah, this started out with the hot ground neutral or the hot ground, but that's because when you have a current going through that line, it kind of fools the, it fools the outlet tester. Tighten down on that. We got 77 volts. That means it's a pretty, pretty loose connection somewhere. Now here I have an option. There's two more outlets in here. Two, two more outlets in this bedroom that are on this circuit. I can pull those apart and check those or check the neutral connection from the breaker box. I'm gonna go with the uh, breaker box first. <laughs> gonna check the breaker in question and we can see if that's the issue we have 120 volts at the breaker so we can eliminate that oh, that doesn't look good I would say that's a little loose I would say that's extremely loose it's also on backwards get this on there right so whenever you're wiring an outlet you want the hook to go the direction that the screw is spinning if you're going to hook it up like this and the reason for that is that it's actually going to pull it in and make a tighter connection see that that's not coming loose once i tighten down on it that is going to be good to go for a long time And then the screw is going to pull the wire, making it a tighter connection instead of trying to pull it loose. This is pretty loose too. This is just ridiculous. I've been running into this a lot in this newer building. So two loose neutrals. Might as well check the hot side too. Loose as can be and loose. <sighs> Loose. 
All right, let's flip the breaker on and see if that did her any justice. No, still have an open neutral. One more outlet to go. So the very last outlet that I checked, I find this, which is the first outlet. So I've checked every single outlet in this apartment, in this room, or so I thought. We go through here to the bathroom. These lights are on. That's great. Come over here to this light switch. Kills the power to this light switch. Not really a tight connection. And see if this helps. Still didn't do it. Oh, it's gotta be a neutral up there though. All right, I found one more outlet behind the bed. This is the last outlet. I'm sure of it. Let's rip it apart and see what we find. Definitely got some loose neutral wires here, but I've already seen that on all of these outlets. Let's see if this fixes it. That one's good. That one's good. Good. And the one I thought was the next in circuit, which is actually the last, is good. So we started off with the hot ground. Once we took away the cord that was supplying power to it, it turned into a open neutral. The sockets I checked, I checked every single outlet in there. I checked every light fixture or so I thought the one that I thought was on the circuit was actually the last on the circuit i should have put two and two together when i seen the um jumper wires on the other outlets but yeah when trying to find a loose neutral just look behind stuff happened to be right behind the bed and that's where our culprit was learn from my mistakes i wouldn't call today's fix a complete waste of time going through all those outlets every single one of those outlets were installed poorly all the neutral wires were loose um, whether or not that would have caused the <clears throat> open neutral i'm not sure but in the future it definitely would have i'm dave spates see you on the next fix